Hi, I'm Jose Del Portilla, Technical Training Manager with Linux's HVAC Learning Solutions. And today I want to talk to you about what the cyclometric chart can do for you. As you take a look at the cyclometric chart, you can see it's a very busy, very complicated, and very detailed chart. In this video, I'm not expecting you as technicians to carry a cyclometric chart with you to every job that you go on, or for that fact, even any of them that you go on. What I want you to understand is that this cyclometric chart tells us all the properties of air. And with a little bit of knowledge of what the psychometric chart can do and the right tools, we can perform some quick and easy tests that allow us to really gauge how well an HVAC system is working. For example, with some knowledge of psychometrics, we can perform the total heat test. The total heat test allows us to know exactly how much heat an air conditioning system is absorbing from the house and then rejecting outside or how well it's actually working. To perform the total heat test, we need a couple of tools. The first one would be a psychrometer. Whether we use a digital like this or an older sling psychrometer, both work great. But what we're going to want to measure is the wet bulb temperature. Two wet bulb measurements to be specific. One of the return air, down by the return duct. And then we're going to want to come directly above the evaporator coil in the plenum and make a supply air wet bulb measurement. Once we have both of these measurements, we're going to use the difference between them to calculate total heat. We'll set that aside for you. The next thing we're going to need to do is take a measurement of the actual cubic feet per minute of air that the air handler is moving while it's in the cooling mode. CFM check. We're going to need some tool that can do that. Whether you're using an anemometer to calculate airflow, a manometer to look at static pressure charts and calculate airflow, or you're using the sensible heat formula where you energize the electric heater, measure temperature rise, and calculate a formula, we need to know the total airflow. It's actually pretty simple to do. The next thing that we need to do is convert our wet bulb measurements into what's known as enthalpy measurements. Enthalpy meaning, enthalpy meaning total heat. What you'll need to do is after you find the wet bulb readings, you'll need to convert them to enthalpy with an enthalpy conversion chart. If you have one of our HVAC Learning Solutions duct calculators and you open it up, right inside there's an enthalpy conversion chart there. Find the wet bulb reading for the return, find the wet bulb reading for the supply, convert them to enthalpy, and then simply subtract the difference. If you don't have one of our HVAC Learning Solutions calculators, just go to our website at hvacls.com and you can find out how to get one. Once we know the difference in enthalpy, and we know the CFM, we can perform a simple test. Taking our calculator, we'll first start by entering the CFM. In this case, this three ton unit was moving 1,200 cubic feet per minute of air. We're gonna multiply that by a constant factor from the psychometric chart of 4.5. It has to do with all the specific densities and heat and volume of the air. Then we're going to times that new number by the difference in enthalpy. So let's say that there was an enthalpy drop of 6.2 BTUs per pound from our enthalpy chart from the return and supply. When I multiply that out, it's going to tell me that we're absorbing 33,480 BTUs of heat. Now this is a three ton unit. Its nominal BTU capacity should be around 36,000. I can now take a look at what might be causing this drop in capacity. Whether we have a dirty filter, an undercharged system, we're not moving the right amount of airflow, or some other factor like leaky ductwork that's allowing extra heat to come into the building that we can't compensate for. But this simple test and a little bit of understandings about the psychometric chart can give us a wealth of information that we can prove exactly how well our system is performing. 